Shown here is the GLS curve path approach plate for runway 6 left in Guam. The GLS approach is identified with a unique 5 digit identifier, which is entered into the multi mode receiver and made active. The inbound course is set to a heading of 063, which is standard for an instrument approach. Minimums on this approach are a decision height of 511 feet and half mile visibility. Curve path approaches provide access to runways that cannot support traditional straight in linear approaches due to terrain, airspace, or other obstacles. RNAV RNP navigation is used for the non linear portion of the approach, with the airplane automatically switching to the more accurate GLS on final. This use of GLS allows for lower approach minimums than RNP alone would allow. On the mode control panel, LNAV and VNAV are engaged, and the approach mode is armed. This information is validated on the flight mode enunciator. GLS is shown in the top left corner. The unique identifier and inbound course are displayed here. The selected runway and GBAS computed distance to the runway threshold are displayed here. Upon receiving approach clearance, the approach mode is selected on the mode control panel. After this selection, the second autopilot is engaged, allowing the aircraft to autoland. As the airplane rolls wings level on final, the autopilot approach mode captures, and LNAV and VNAV are automatically deselected. The transition from LNAV and VNAV to GLS is seamless to the pilot. Both autopilots remain engaged, allowing the aircraft to complete an auto landing. Once captured, the autopilot interprets the GLS signal and provides the same presentation to the pilots that an ILS does allowing for identical procedures to be used for a GLS auto land. When used with a curved path approach, GLS equipped aircraft can operate on runways that were previously unserviceable in low visibility conditions. This capability benefits airlines by increasing completion rates and causes fewer diversions. GLS allows airport operators to utilize runways that were once unusable in poor weather and assists air traffic controllers in maintaining arrival rates without compromising safety. We join our crew at the initial approach fix. minimums I'm going heads up 100 I have the aircraft 50 30 20 10 